The Protocols of the Elders of Zion is a hundred-year-old book. It's a book that was read by Hitler and a book that inspired the 9-11 terrorists. It is perhaps the most dangerous book ever published, a crazy lie that has hung over the head of every single Jewish person ever since. The book claims to be a real record of a secret meeting. In this secret meeting, powerful Jewish people plot to take over the world, secretly start wars, manipulate banks and media, and form an eternal one-world government. Obviously, this is an insane racist fantasy. A major legacy of the late 19th century Russian anti-Semitism was the fabricated text known as the Protocols of the Elders of Zion. The work originated in circles of the Russian secret police, based on materials borrowed from earlier conspiratorial anti-Jewish writings and theories. Originally published in the early 20th century under the title Antichrist, the Protocols disseminated, eventually becoming one of the most widely distributed anti-Semitic publications of modern times. The conspiratorial content presented in the publication serves to explain its attractiveness to anti-Semitic ideologues, parties, and movements. So. The Tsarist secret police put together this document that basically um, chronicled <clears throat> the meetings, the alleged meetings that took place over time in Prague at the site of the Jewish cemetery by Jewish elders who came together to discuss ways in which they could rule the world, in which Jews could rule the world. So. Um, Every single movement in history, um, every single event in history can be that way attributed to the Jews. The Jews have a scheme, have a ploy to rule over the world. And they, you know, so that the French Revolution, according to these protocols, was, um, you know, was orchestrated by the Jews. Socialism, invented by the Jews, capitalism, every single event.